Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your iPhone screen using Airshow. So this video has been on pause since there wasn't a version of Airshow available that's actually letting you record. It just says broadcast and that is version 0.6.1 that we were actually waiting for. And now there is one available on an unofficial app store that i'm going to be showing you guys how to install so on ios 11 there is a apple original screen recorder i did a video on that if you want to go check that out but this video is for you guys who are still running ios 10 and you don't want to go and install the ios 11 beta so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful so what you want to do is go to your web browser and type in app valley dot vip so just make sure you're typing in the right address to go to the website that we want so this is what it looks like i will have a link in the description box below so just click on go and your browser will start loading to the actual website that we want to go to so this is what the website looks like i really like it the look of it i don't know that's kind of one thing that stood out to me so then just click on install app valley i got the install button two times not really sure why but nothing to worry about so then it will start installing onto your device as you can see here once you click on the app it will say untrusted enterprise developer so then we have to go to settings to general and then just scroll down to device management as you can see here then just click on that enterprise app and then click on trust and then trust again so then you can actually use the app on your phone so click on app valley and then it will enter the unofficial app store that you now have on your phone this is what it looks like it just has a bunch of apps on it so then click on apps and browse and it will be one of the first apps on there so you can see here and just scrolling down you will see it is version 0.6.1 which is the version that we actually want so just click on get and then you can click on install and it will also again start installing onto your device and it may take a while but as you can see here it just started installing so then we will have it on our phones so once it is actually installed onto your device you will see that this is also an untrusted enterprise developer so then we just have to go to settings again and go and scroll down to general and again to device management and then just go to that enterprise app, just click on trust and trust again, and then you can actually enter the app now. So once you go and you actually enter the app, it will just give you a bunch of pop-ups like agree, and then it will show you their social medias and things like that. So then you have the option to broadcast and record. So we're mostly gonna be using record. So you can just name your recording whatever you want. You can set the orientation. I'm gonna go with portrait and the resolution. I usually make it the highest 1080p. Then you click on next step and then it will access your microphone so you click click ok then you have to swipe up to your control center now like i said i am running on ios 11 so it will look different so just 3d touch and then click on air show and then when i scroll down the control center this is what the recording looks like as you can see here i did put the recording in a phone png as you can see it runs smoothly there's no problems at all good quality video and i just really think this is very helpful for you guys who actually use screen recordings on your phone once you finish your recording you can click on the top right corner here you can see your clip and then you can play your clip or you can open in and it gives you a bunch of open options like sharing options and you can also delete your recording if you'd like or you can just save it to camera so i did that and it would just like access to your photos and it will automatically save to your camera roll as you can see here this is the video in my camera roll no glitches at all this when you scrub the video it will start glitching but when it's actually imported into an editor you won't have any problems so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful if you did please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below if this works for you and let me know if there are any changes to the actual trusting of the apps definitely subscribe i would really appreciate that and we'll see you guys in my next video be weird and be private love you guys so much bye